We begin this evening in Grover Beach, where city leaders have been working on their economic development strategy for years, but several projects were put on hold during the pandemic. Now that it's 2023, city officials are revisiting their signage ordinance, and this is what businesses should know to make sure they are complying. The city of Grover Beach is working to beautify its commercial zones. This is part of its economic development strategy. To help our businesses have attractive, aesthetically pleasing signs to help bring in customers and create a very attractive commercial corridor. A priority for 2023 is revisiting their 2019 signage ordinance, something that had not been done since the 80s. It was a long time coming that really helped provide some additional clarity around what signs were allowed, what signs were prohibited. Code enforcement crews have been going around businesses with flyers to inform owners. Some of the signs that no longer allowed are things like feather flags that are often placed uh, in a spot of, of, gr of great ground and then flutter in the wind, often fall falling over in the wind. That's one of the big changes first class seconds will have to make. Owner Karen Grassini says the sign helps catch people's attention. I think it's kind of going to be uh, sad to see them go. Um, and. I just, I just don't really think it's necessary, really, but I mean, I'll abide by the rules because I'm going to keep my business going. Other signs prohibited are snipe signs, inflatable signs, and person signs. A-frames fall under a different category. The A-frames, they say you're only allowed to have one, um, which that's fine. I can, I, I, our A-frames are just kind of like letting them our customers know what hours are. If a business dismisses the city's recommendation. If we're still unable to achieve compliance after 90 days, then we do have uh, a code compliance violation process that goes into effect. Um, the first violation is a warning letter. The second is a $100 violation, and then it, it goes from there. And that's really in a last resort. Our, our community uh, really does a great job of complying with our ordinances. We will have more information on specific types of signs, measurements, and permits on our website, ksby.com.